and welcome to another video from Well Aged Cruisers. What's your name? I don't know. I can post my name <laughs> in a picture right there. Okay. He's John. I am I'm John. I'm Sonia. And today we're going to talk about hats. Hats. On a cruise ship. And sunscreen. Sunscreen. You have sunscreen next to you. I have a whole bag of sunscreen. You have a whole bag of sunscreen. Two things that sound kind of simple and for the season of trial of their plan and go, wow, these are going to be dumb videos. But there's some things that we need to, to talk about. Yes. So this right here is my most favorite hat. I actually got it on a cruise. It's, a, it's an authentic Panama hat and I've had it for years and I get a lot of compliments on it. But I don't take it on cruises because of two really important things. One, it's not flexible and so I have to wear it. And two, I may not want to wear it for hours on end. So for instance, on our next cruise, we're flying in at midnight. We don't even get there until 10 a.m. the next day. I just don't want to have to deal with holding or wearing a hat. Same goes for, oh no, I'm all tangled up in hats. No. These, you know, super rigid um, fedora type. Although they're nice and they're comfortable, um, you've got to deal with them. I, I see these people who come back from a cruise and they've bought like a sombrero <laughs> on, on a shore excursion yes. and they're little, you know, 10 year old kids having to like hold this giant hat. Um, the whole trip home and it's just a hassle. The other reason why I don't like these is cruise ships always on one side of the ship are very windy. It's super windy. So uh, we see a lot of hats in the water too on trips. Or so, people chasing them down. Yep, seen that too. So um, if you're going to travel like that or spend your day on the, the ship itself you want something that's more of a tight fitting, um, you know, baseball cappy type hat so that when you get hit by that wind, you're not going to lose your valuable hats. So we use these kind of hats on the ship. We pack these kind of hats when we do our short sure, excursions. Sure. They're SPF'd. You can get them wet and put them on and they're nice and cool. But um, these are beach hats for us. So um, do you remember that trip out of Texas and we had that cowboy with us? He's, oh yeah. He had a different cowboy hat for, for every, every day. day. And so he had to pack, I don't know if he packed one or two of those hat boxes. Well, you know, if you're traveling like we are, I mean, that's 50 bucks a, a bag. Yes. So you're spending $200 just to carry those those hats. And it is. So just think it through. Anything like these, of course, are packable. The other ones I yeah, showed you are these, packable. These can be rolled up. Yep, and we just throw them in our suitcase. And it just makes life nice. Um, part two of this video. Sunscreen. Sunscreen. Again, this seems like so an easy one. Have... Just a spray on sunscreen. Um, I like this brand. Um, one of my kids has allergic reactions to certain brands. Of course, my kids are all adults now, not that it matters. However, the Neutrogena is the only one that didn't give him a rash. So, so the other reason that we, we are showing these is if you're going to um, check your bag, you can take these. You can't always buy these on the cruise ship. No. So if you don't have your sunscreen with you, you may have to just sacrifice and get whatever they offer, which is just one it, thing Sometimes something. they'll have one or two. A lot of times you have to buy it in the port. It just depends. Yeah, sometimes you can get it at the airport when you're getting in, and they always overcharge. So that's, that's why the can's there. However, if you do like cans, you can get these handy little guys. This is a 1.6 ounce uh, spray bottle. And you can get several sprays out of one of these. You can usually get through a cruise with two. Two of these, yep. So if you if that's your method of application, you can buy small ones. I got these off of Amazon. I've never seen them in they a store. They were a pack of three. Yep. Okay. Okay. This one's important. 
Yes. Because it is also um, an insect repellent. And if you're going to some place that has a lot of jungle, you're going to want it. It also helps with like sand fleas. Honduras. Honduras, Honduras. is bad. Parts of Mazatlan are bad. Yes, yeah, we got eaten alive by sand fleas. So anyway, if you're uh, sensitive to that kind of stuff, you might want to consider packing one of these. Okay, another spray bottle. Um, I know that we have a, uh, a lot of single cruisers. This is just a nice, I've never really seen the handles until this year, just to be able to apply it to yourself. To yourself, yeah, it's, it's a nice way to apply okay. Okay, apply, apply it. it. So, this is the uh, smear on version. I like that for faces. And honestly, this gives you the most coverage. And we can pack these since we're going to do carry ons. We can pack, you know, you can each pack one in our bag. Yeah, because they're under three ounces. Okay, and probably I'm saving the last, the most important one. This one. So brand doesn't matter, but what does matter is where it says right here, um, reef friendly. So that's really, really important. There are certain places in Mexico and Honduras where you have to have eco-friendly sunscreen and they're very, very picky. So in a few places in um, Mexico, if you're going into their reef, that they're actually really picky about what they have a check use. station they will check your sunscreen to make sure that it's when it's that happened usable. to us we of course didn't and then you had to buy theirs and it was super expensive and there was just barrels of people's sunscreen behind the garbage, them garbage yeah so they just throw it away so save yourself a hassle if you know where you're going to do on your trip you know pack accordingly you know these these are not that much more money now i i know that Sometimes in the daily that you get in your room, they will tell you if you're, or with your shore excursion tickets, it may say that you need eco-friendly sunscreen. Uh, not always though. So, so be aware of where you're going and, and what type of environment you're going to be in because sunscreen can destroy the coral reefs. Yep, and they're very uh, picky. They are very picky. And they will confiscate it, and then you got to go buy theirs, or not have any. Or not have any, which and is terrible. Which gives you about five minutes of excitement, and then you're a lobster, and then you have to go home. <laughs> yes. Anyway, all right, well, that's uh, those two tips, and we will see you on the next video. Yes.